Okay, good morning everyone. Um, I just want to bring you guys up to speed with what with what's, what I've been doing. Um, we're getting ready for our breeding season because I just, like I said in that last video, we finished calving pretty much all our cows. Um, and now we got to get ready for the breeding season because we've got now about a two month window to get them pregnant. Um, so what I'm doing here is um, well, what we did do is we painted all our cows like this. Uh, you can see the, the paint on their tailbone. And um, we painted the whole herd at minus 21 days uh, from the start of the breeding season. So 21 days prior to the start of our breeding season. Um, I'm starting on the 10th. Um, I actually, actually it was a bit more, it was probably about 30 days before the breeding season that we painted them. It's been 21 days already. Um, it was 21 days on about the 30th. Um, and w so what we do is we, I paint, we painted all of them pink. Um, and then as they came on heat, um, now do you know when they come on heat, that's the reason why we paint them, because they bull on each other's back and then you can see that the paint's completely rubbed off like these cows over here. See this, these cows are yellow so they're coming back for the second uh, heat since I've painted them. But um, like this, I mean you can see this, they've pulled the paint off and the hair. So we know they're on heat. Um, so what happens when they come in? Um, and they pull their pink paint off, then we give them a dose, a, a, a yellow paint. And then um, after 21 days, because the uh, cows come on heat every 21 days, so um, after 21 days we, uh, we get the vet in, and any cows that are still pink, which means they haven't come on heat, we run the vet through them, and he checks why. Um, and, we, and we get them so that they are coming on heat. So we give them, you know, inject them with hormones like uh, estromate or we put cedars in them. Um, I've actually got 17 cows right now that's got cedars in, that we put in. Because um, I didn't have the vet here and we ran through the non-cycling cows. And we, we put 17 cedars in. Uh, we did estimate quite a few. And um, those cows, I'm actually going to be inseminating them tomorrow. So we're going to start them early. And just try and get the, the problem cows to get a jump on the rest of the herd. So, um, that's what's going on. These cows that are coming past here, yeah, you can see their paint is still fine, you know. Let me show you. See, they still have their paint. Um, there's another one over there. So they haven't shown um, things yet. But, um,. When we start inseminating, um, I'm not going to use paint. Um, I find the paint unreliable. I'm just using it for the heat spotting. When we do start to AI, I'm going to be putting uh, these bullying beacons on. I don't know if you guys will probably know what these things are. I'm not using them for the heat spotting because they are flipping expensive. But basically, for those of you that don't know, that's what cows do when the one on the bottom is on heat. They bull like that on each other's backs. And um, that's what rubs the paint off. So that's how you know that she's on heat. Now these, the way these work is you stick them on the back with glue. Let me open this up quick. I'm just going to put you guys down there for a second. So this is what they look like, um, it's basically just inside there there's a little, I don't know, it's probably plastic or a little glass container with red dye in and that breaks 
basically you put glue on here. Um, they do have glue. It sticks like like hell. I've never seen any glue like it in my life. So this is the glue. You put a bit of this on the cow's back or on the back of this bullying beacon. Um, and then you just stick that on her back like that. And um, when they pull like that, this whole thing will go red. And then you'll know she's on she's on heat and then we'll inseminate them. I don't have any bulls. Um, I find bulls unreliable. Um, so here's my flask with all my semen in. I've already got it. We've got quite a lot in here. Okay, I don't know if I'm gonna let me show you guys quick, like this is all Jersey, Jersey bull semen, uh, then I've got some Friesland bull semen, and the way we do it is we crisscross our cows the whole time. So we, I mean we have like, if you guys, you probably don't, you look at our cows and you're like, what cows are those? Those are like pavement special cows. But if we have a Jersey cow, we breed her with Friesland semen. Um, or if we have a Friesland cow, we breed her with Jersey semen. If she's a cross, depending on what she looks more like, she looks more Jersey than Friesland, then we give her uh, Friesland semen. Or if she looks more Friesland than Jersey, we give her Jersey semen. And the reason we do that is because the conditions that we farm in are very harsh. Um, so we cross our cows the whole time to get that hybrid vigor. Uh, they are much tougher cow. They can walk much further. I mean, we, our cows walk on average eight kilometers per day to get to the fields where they need to be grazing. So, I mean, with Holstein cows, you just got they're going to have sore feet all the time. They're not going to last. Um, so, Jersey cows can handle it. They're quite tough, but um, they don't give as much milk as the Holstein cows. So, if we cross them, we get a tough cow that gives relatively good milk, um, and she. And she handles the conditions well. It's very hot in Africa. I mean, it's, we get fucking hot weather. They handle it quite well. Um, so that's that's the reason why we cross our cows like that. I mean, you can see. Okay, we, we did have a lot of Asia, Asia cows um, a couple a bunch of years ago. Before I started farming this farm, they had a lot of Asia cows, and they still, you know, a lot of that Asia showing in the herd. But for the most part, it's Jersey Friesland cross, like, like this cow. I mean, you can see that's a Jersey Friesland cross, and and these, and then you get like something that like this, which is more more like a Holstein type cow. I mean, she's she's bigger than the other cows. She's got much bigger eyes. She probably produces a lot more milk, but they don't last as long. Um, whereas these cows, like you see in front of me here, these ones. They're tough as nails these things. I mean they walk far, they don't get really get sick. And um, so that's just the reason why we do it like that. But this is how we're doing it. So right now we're just heat recording. Most of the cows have already cycled. I mean these cows, I think were all yellow. I don't think there were any pink ones. They're coming back for a second heat. But I'm just recording the heat, writing them down. So that, you know, when we do put bullying beacons on, and uh, she comes in for AI, I can go back and check when well, she had a heat and, and so on. So it just helps to have that information on hand. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's what's going on. We're going to start uh, inseminating soon. Um, I'll maybe put a go the GoPro on my head when I do those cows tomorrow and then upload that for you if you guys want. I don't know if you guys are into that type of stuff. But yeah, just let me know and I'll do it. Yeah. Anyway, you get your head back. Anyway, thanks for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Cheers.